Howdy guys, it's Alicia Pate with Pate Ranch, and I took a couple of text messaging calls and calls this weekend on getting the right focal distance on the Houtian <clears throat> machine. So I just kind of wanted to do a, a quick, short, or a little bitty, kind of a shorter video to, to show you guys that are new with a Houtian Galvo laser how to get the focal distance dialed in. So when you get your machine, you get one of these focal sticks and it's pretty important to keep this. And you'll notice that I've got mine labeled here for the UV and I've got some tick marks here. You'll also notice on the side of the, of the Galvo head, depending on how many lenses you've ordered with your machine, if you've only ordered two, on this one, I only bought two with it. So I have two calibration settings so this one tells me here's the calibration line for my 110 lens. This is the next one for my 210 and this is my 300 and it has some numbers here on it. All right, I'll get closer. So those numbers will line up on our focal stick. So if we look here for the 100, it's 241. So I've gone to my stick and on 241, I made a tick mark for my 110. And then I did the same thing for my 210. And then on my 300, I've got its number, so 575. So now what we do is use this as our reference whenever we want to get a focal distance. Right here, I'm doing some olive wood coasters, and I've been running these, so I'm going to show you what I mean. I'm going to use my focal stick, place it on the top of the surface of what I'm engraving, okay? And then what I want is, I know I have my 210 lens in here. I want that line that I've put, which is four, whatever that is, 411. That line, my tick needs to marry up with the line here. And that's the general sweet spot. You could be up or down a little bit, depending upon the material. You might raise it or lower it to defocus some. But that's the general way that you would put something in focus. If we came over here and looked at the fiber, same thing, Gavo unit. I was doing <clears throat> some, uh, let me see if I have a blank of it. I don't think I do, but I was doing a different kind of uh, coaster. It was a leatherette coaster, so it was barely setting. It was really thin. And this one here, it says that the 110 lens is 249. So on my stick here, 249, I have the 110. So I would put that item on the bed and then get the lines to match up. And that's how I know what my, around about what my focal distance is. That's how you do it, it's that easy. So on the Houtian machines, you'll see these calibration lines on the side of the head. Everyone comes with it, okay? Now, here's another Houtian. In exception, you have, this is the Filtech from Houtian. They use, the calibration for the focal distance underneath, okay? And so we have some nice little jigs uh, measuring focal sticks that Dean put together that we use. And with this one, you'll lower and raise the bed till your distance is from the top of your surface to here. So it's a little bit different for the Fieldtech head, but just wanted to kind of step through that because there's a couple people that have gotten some new machines this week and they're not sure on how to get the right focal distance. You should always do a ramp test just to make sure. But when these machines were put together at the shop for you in China, they calibrated the lens and the focal distance for you. So that's where you want to start. Again, me, my best practice, I like keeping a stick for each machine and I put a tick mark for each lens. Just wanted to quickly walk through that. There's some new people that had some questions and I uh, wanted to get you going as fast as we could.